What is up guys, it is Kane here and today I'm going to be bringing you a squad builder for a 100k BPL team and this is the second time I've tried to record this but it was too lengthy but anyway moving on from stuff that you don't care about in the goal we have David De Gea standout stats being 86 diving, 88 reflexes, 86 kicking and 73 handling but the um, 80 positioning I've got on him, that's because I've got a card on him right now. And he is a very solid keeper, I do have to say. And he pulls off some amazing saves. But anyway, the next centre-back we have in left centre-back is Reed. Standout stats being his 73 pace, which is amazing. 75, pay, 75 defending, sorry. 78 heading. And he is a very clean tackler of the ball. He'll just strip you of it, no questions asked. That is why he hasn't got a single red card yet. And moving on from him, we'll have Yang Umbuya in right centre-back. Standout stats again being his pace, which is 70, 79 defending, 77 heading. He and my next centre-back have some very biased decisions against him, I feel. And that is Distin with standout stats yet again, 73 pace. And 78 heading, 78 defending. And I just feel like the refs are against them really because they um, they aren't really that fairly treated. And then moving on from him, we have Gilfie Sigurdsson. He is a tank. Standout stats being 84 shot, 72 dribbling, 77 passing. His pace feels a bit more, but it's not really necessary in left mid. Shots are just phenomenal. The finesse is the curl on that ball and the power that he can put behind it are just immense. Just like his passing, which he sends all the way out the pitch. But moving on to our left centre mid, we'll have Anderson. Very good. Standout stats being his pace, his dribbling, his passing. Everything you need from a midfielder, really. Um... Very good on the ball. He has some good heading as well. And is better at long balls and all that. But moving on we have Flamini. Matthew Flamini. 74 pace. 74 dribbling. 75 defending. 76 passing. Very, very good in my opinion. He goes into them tackles. And he's different to the other tacklers. Where normal tackles go about two inches, he does some Sol Campbell shit going on there. And moving on to our right midfielder, we have Walcott. 96 pace, the pace man on the game. 80 dribbling as well and 72 shot with 71 passing. His shot is absolute crap. You, you can't really say anything else. He doesn't actually score for me. 32 games and one goal. I have tried to score with him, but it is near impossible. And Cam, cleverly, the best player that I have used in midfield, maybe even the whole of the game. His pace, 76, even though it feels a lot higher. He also has 81 dribbling and 80 passing. The passing is just phenomenal, as I have already said about many other players. It just... He just puts it up there. He'll drag it back. He does everything for you. He has some amazing power behind his shots. And he can even mix it in with a curl to do a fast curler. But anyway, our next strike is one of the most OP players that the FIFA franchise has ever seen. Fernando Torres. 77 pace. It feels a lot higher. But he also has 82 dribbling, 82 shot, 75 heading and 70 passing. The passing comes into play when you just pass it about with the other uh, striker that I have. And they hang back when one's up. It's like one's up, one's down. Non-sexual. And moving on from him, we have our last striker who is not a striker. He is the centre forward I have reviewed. He is Wayne Rooney. Very good. 76 pace, that is a lie. Feels more like around 82, I'd say. But he also has very rounded stats with 83 dribbling, 87 shot, 83 passing and 81 heading. And he also has very high defensive work rate which helps him with his very high defending stat. But the shots, the power, just power. He'll put it above the keeper. He'll put it around the keeper. 
he'll put it through the keeper. He is magical. But anyway, guys, I'll move on to the goals now. So, yeah, I'll just add a bit of music into the goals quickly. So, yeah, guys, see you in a bit. So yeah guys, this squad is, you know, 3 4 one, two, very nice formation this FIFA, suck last FIFA, but I just want to try it out this FIFA, and um, basically, if you've got 100k, buy this team, left mid, if you want a bit more pace, maybe go for someone like um, Nanny, and he has five star skills, so yeah, that will set you back another 10k though, because this one costs around 15k. And um, yeah, it's all about the left mid and right mid guy not just passing up to the D cams to the cam, the left striker and right striker. So uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna have another one of these ready for Sunday. So if you could check that out. Um, when it does come out, that'd be lovely. So, uh, yeah, guys, a like and sub would be very highly appreciated. As for 100 subs, I will do... Uh, I think that when I get to 100 subs, I will have 10k views, as I already have almost 7,000 right now. So, yeah, thinking about that, that's pretty incredible. So, yeah. If, um, do you sub to me and like it that would be very very much appreciated so i can whip out that um wait i was just about to say room builder but that gaming setup review yeah that'd be lovely so yeah guys thanks for watching see ya